Hey guys, Brie here. Welcome back to Brie Vlog. So for today's vlog, I thought I'd do a little sit down and give you guys a little bit of a life update of what I've been up to. So it feels like it's been like, it feels like years since I've hosted here on my channel. I think the last video I did, oh, I forget. I'll have my last video linked in, in the down bar down below. So go check that out if you haven't seen my last video. So... Life has gotten pretty crazy. Well, 2020 has gotten crazy. Um, with the whole COVID virus floating around, it's been really scary. Um, it's just been really scary to me because where I live in Canada, everywhere that I go, it just feels like it's... My, my town that, that I live in feels like a ghost town now because there's like barely anything open except for the grocery stores, maybe a few fast food restaurants. But like, other than that, it feels like a total ghost town where I live. It's scary. I never thought I would ever experience something like this, but I am. So I feel like personally 2020 has taken a turn for the worst. Like, I thought this year was going to be a brand new year, fresh shirt, new everything, but no, no, COVID-19 had to, had to come in and be like, hey, guys, I'm going to be here, maybe for the whole year. Who knows? So, so that's what's been going on. And then a little bit of a life update. Um, Let's see. The last time I talked to you guys, I think I told you guys I graduated college. It's been almost a year since I gradu graduated college. Job hunting is, like, so hard. I never thought that finding a job in my field as a recreation therapist would be so hard. Because, like, when I was in the program, my thinking was, oh, it's going to be so easy to find a job, like, once I graduate. Well... Once I graduate, it's like reality check set in, and it's like, no, there's like barely any jobs in my field. If there is like work, it's like working in long term care facilities. I have nothing against long term care facilities. It's just that personally, myself, I don't feel comfortable in that environment. Um, I had an experience where I did a college placement at a long term care facility. I loved it. I got to see, you know, the bird's eye view, what working at long-term care would be like. Working with the elderly. Well, this one day I was at placement, I got to, unfortunately, witness someone dying. I wasn't, like, in the room when the person died, but, like, when they were bringing the body out, I kind of saw it because they were wheeling it out, and I... So I'm to be in that same area and it scared me and my place with Zerezer, oh, he was so nice. He's like, you can take a five, 10 minute break to yourself. Like if you like, you need to relax or whatever. And ever since then, I have never set foot in a long-term care facility because I, I, I just, I feel like it's not for me personally. I would rather work with children and or young adults around my age or people living with different types of special needs that's the one thing I love about rec therapy is that you can work with a whole variety of populations not just one whereas if you want to be a daycare worker for example there's just that one population you know children and again, that's what I love about rec therapy is that it has a variety of different populations to work with. You know, it's not just you can't work with just children, for example. It's you can work with any population you want, and that's what I love about recreation therapy. I love it. So that's been my job hunting, and then also my grandma bought a new camp. Um, if you guys are confused, like you, I thought you already had a camp. Well. Quick backstory, me and my, in the last, I think last vlog I uploaded on this channel, I was going out to camp to get my camp ready to be sold. Well, our camp ended up selling, but it was very, I thought it was very 
I don't know. I thought it was just a whole big issue with it selling. Because, like, before we sold it, my fiancé, me, my cousin, my grandma went to go out and clean it. And then my cousin, and then my, sorry, not my cousin, my friend's grandma walked up to us because at our old camp, we were neighbors with my friend's grandma. So my friend's grandma comes up and she's like, oh, I just wanted to let you guys know that the, that some people broke into your guys' camp. And we're like, what the heck? Turns out the people that were buying our old camp decided to break into our camp before they took possession. They didn't have the keys yet or anything. Nothing was set in stone yet. And we were just baffled. I was upset because it's like, that's not cool. Like, you guys didn't have possession. You guys didn't have the right to the... Anyway, once that mess all got cleared away, my grandma was happy it sold. And then, well, literally a month ago, um, I had gone out to get some stuff because it was her birthday. And I come home, and then she's like, come here so I come into the living room where I am right now and she's like what do you think of this and she shows me this picture of this beautiful camp and I'm like oh look, it looks nice why and my grandma was like oh I'm thinking of buying it and then in my head I went and thought what the heck because I thought when she was done with her old place I thought she was never going to get another camp ever again because you know she isn't getting any younger you know and all that stuff and her health and all that and I thought there's no way she's getting another camp nope she surprised me and she bought another camp so we went out to her new camp twice though uh, the one part I love about this about our new camp is that it's all highway driving and it's like literally right off the highway so it's just great driving the last time we got out there we ended up getting lost it was me, my grandma, my aunt, and my three younger cousins. My aunt was driving. My grandma was getting frustrated with everyone. Everyone was getting frustrated and cranky. And not to mention a little bit hungry, too, because we hadn't eaten lunch. And, yeah, we ended up getting lost. And then, and then I ended up saying, you know what? I'm going to turn the GPS on my phone and let the GPS tell us where to go because we're lost. So, thank, thank God for iPhones and for GPS, because we were able to find our camp. And so, I feel like personally, from now on, when we go to our new camp, I feel like we should always have the GPS, because I don't want to get lost again. <laughs> like, oh, oh, it was just, all oh, that day was just crazy. And then with all this COVID stuff going on, it's hard too because we can't do much. And it really sucks because I have two cousins whose birthdays are, are in this month in April. One was just starting her teen year. She was turning 13, you no know, fresh, you no know, starting her um, pre-teen years, her teenage years, or not pre-teen, teenage years. And she wanted, sorry, wanted to go to this arcade place which is also a restaurant called Wacky Wings here and with the whole COVID that unfortunately got changed so once this all settles down I will hopefully do something because I felt so sad for her you know the big 13 you know but you're starting to be a teenager and can't really do much and then my other cousin, she just turned 20, and I don't know, I just, like, I remember turning 20, you know, having fun, you know, going out with friends, you know, like, but I don't know, it just sucks, it just sucks, so I said to both my cousins, I said, once this is all over, we are definitely doing something, like, we are going to celebrate. And I felt bad because my birthday was last month. I turned 23 last month in March. And I felt bad because I got a birthday. And then I told my grandma, I'm like, I feel bad. My Both my cousins are not going to have a birthday because of you know, all this COVID stuff. And my grandma was like, well, you didn't know this was going to happen. I'm like, yeah, I know I didn't know this was going to happen. But, like, 
if I would have known in advance that this was going to happen, I would have shared my birthday with the both of them because I, I feel bad. But once again, once this is all settled down, we're going to do something. And then another exciting news I have, well, it's not, well, anyway, an exciting news I have, if you guys aren't familiar with the band Aqua, they sing the song Barbie Girl, Barbie Girl, you know, I'm a Barbie Girl in a Barbie World. So anyway, it was December, it was like four months ago in December, and I saw that Aqua posted on their Facebook page that they were touring again. And then I looked, and I found out they're going to be in Winnipeg, which is like a seven-hour drive from where I live. And then I thought, no way. And then, so I went on Ticketmaster, and tickets were really cheap. Tickets were $72. And in my thought, in my head, I thought, I can totally do this, you know. I can afford this. Um, I'm very fortunate that I have family that lives in Winnipeg, so my plan was to stay with my aunt, uncle, my cousins, fly there, buy the concert ticket, and then they'll drive me to and from the concert. So everything was all set. Well, plans unfortunately changed because my father and his girlfriend wanted to go, and then my fiancé wanted to go. So now the, the new plan is, is that we are going to go... Maybe, my dad's either thinking of maybe renting an Airbnb or a hotel. Um, um, let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever stayed in an Airbnb. What are you guys' thoughts? Like, what are you guys' thoughts? I don't, let me know in the comments down below what you guys' experiences of an Airbnb is. So, we're planning on staying in an Airbnb or a hotel. We don't know yet. The concert was supposed to be June 18th and I had a whole vlog I was gonna vlog the whole concert for you guys and all that but um plans unfortunately changed due to the whole COVID situation so the new date for the concert is September 10th so that's in five more months so I am still super duper excited for that it's my childhood band it's um not just aqua that's gonna be there it's a bunch of other 90s bands are going to be there too, so I'm really, really excited. I already bought my poster paper. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Oh, it's going to be a great concert. I'm so excited. And when I tell people that this is like my second concert that I've been to, they're like, wait, what? Like, how is this your second concert? Well, the first concert that I went to was, oh, that was back in 2009. And that was for the Jonas Brothers, and that's when I was 12. So, do the math. That's like 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It's like 11 years ago that I saw the Jonas Brothers, and that was my first and only concert that I have ever been to. And I was very fortunate to go to that. That was the best concert of my life. I, oh, I felt so silly. I remember after coming back from my Jonas Brothers concert, I was reviewing the footage on my grandma's camera, and it was it was not the best. But still, I wish I didn't delete that because I wish I could have, you know, looked back on it now and watch it. But it, it is what it is, whatever. So, yeah, people are shook when I tell them that, oh, the only concert I've ever been to was the Jonas Brothers, and now my second concert now is going to be Aqua in, in September. And they're like, and they're like, they're so surprised because they, you know, they thought I would go see more concerts, but concerts are expensive and all that. So I'm, I'm like so excited for my Apple concert. I cannot wait. And then this month, oh, I was so bombed. I think it was like three or four weeks ago. Anyway, I was supposed to go for my row test to get my second stage of, the, of my license because in Canada, there's three stages. There's your G1, which is your which is your beginners. And you can only drive with someone who has their license of like four years or more. Second stage is your G2, where you get a little bit more freedom. And you can drive in your own. And then the final stage, which is your G, which is your full license. So anyway, I was supposed to go for my G2 on... Oh, it was supposed to be on April 8th. Uh, this month, but unfortunately, due to the COVID situation, it got bumped back to next month. So, crossing my fingers, it doesn't get canceled. But then again, I don't know for sure. So, I'll just have to keep my fingers crossed and hope for the best. 
But, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to wrap up this vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also, if you guys are wondering what is on my arm right here, that is my tattoo. I don't know. I never really. Oh, oh, I never really. Oh, yeah, I never told you guys about my tattoo. Anyway, little story before I end the vlog here. I got this tattoo last year. It's a memorial tattoo for my grandfather's. The eagle is for my grandfather, who's been gone for 13 years this November. And then the anchor is for my dad's father, who's still here at 94. And my dad's father was also in the U.S. Navy. He was a chief petty officer. And so I... And so eagles are my favorite birds and anchors are my favorite too. So I somehow wanted to incorporate them both. And I found this really cool artist. Her name's Melissa. And oh, she is, she did an amazing job. This took less than an hour and the price was reasonable. She, um, charges a hundred, no, wait, sorry. Let me rephrase that. She has a $50 deposit that you have to pay, I guess, to keep your spot or something. So you pay her 50 bucks and then the, and then the $50 gets taken off the total price at the end of your, like the total price of your tattoo. And she's 150 an hour. So I gave her the $50 deposit. And then at the end, it took, again, my tattoo took less than an hour and I ended up paying a hundred dollars. But realistically, if you added up, I actually ended up paying 150. So I definitely would go to her again if I ever wanted another tattoo. I don't know. After I got this one, my stepmom's like, so are you going to get another one? I was like, mm, I don't know. That's a big maybe. I don't know if I would get another tattoo or not. I have no idea. If I do, I'll let you guys know and I'll keep you guys posted. Anyway, that is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll have my Instagram and my Twitter linked down below, so go follow me on there. Also, a quick little announcement. I've been writing short stories. And if you guys are interested in reading them, I'll have my Wattpad username down below. So go and check those out if you're interested. There are three little short stories I wrote. There are three different ones. First one I wrote was call, is called Nightmares. Second one is called The Life of Isabella Marie Smith. And then the third one is The Paramedic's Ghost. So if you guys are interested in reading my three short stories, my wall pad will be linked down below. So go and check that out. And that is it for today's vlog. Stay safe, everyone. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye. Bye.